lesson. Okay, Nathaniel. Shall we pray? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pray. Mm -hmm. So our Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you praise and honor for this day. We thank you for your grace. We thank you um, for blessing us and giving us the opportunity to be um, at this moment to read your word and study your Lord, your word. We pray that you fill us with your Holy Spirit and you give us wisdom and understanding so that we might... Um, Learn the lesson, O oh Lord, that you want us to take from the Bible this afternoon and use them in our everyday life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. All right. Who we'll remember what we did last week? So last week we were talking about the power of prayer. Mm -hmm. And what do we say about the power? About prayer. Why is prayer? The four ways to pray. Why is prayer? Prayer is when you're talking to God. Mm. Talking with God. Because you talk to him and he talks back to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, you were saying something else? The four ways to pray is by praising him, repent. Are you looking on the paper? Don't look at my notes. <laughs> Go on, try again. So the race to praise by praising game, repent, mm -hmm. ask, and yield. Why is yield, JJ? Yield is when you, when you obey God. When you listen and obey. Okay. Good job. So, do you remember anything else? Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Mm. Matanya, do you remember? Um, what did we say? What did we talk about last week? Um, the worship of God. The worship of God, right? Yeah. High five. I, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go now. No, you can't go now because the lesson is not finished yet. When we are done, then you can go. Okay? That's now. Mm, I don't think you need any. Okay. All right. We'll remember the memory verse we learned. No, we don't do that. Remember the memory verse we learned last week without looking. That's the point. Yeah, it's okay. Do you remember the memory verse? First. First Thessalonians five or seventeen it says never stop praying or pray with us even. We learn never stop praying. Never stop praying. Can we say it together? Never stop praying. What's the passage for that? First Thessalonians 5 is 17. First Thessalonians 5 is 17. Never stop praying, right? Yeah. I want us to learn a new verse today and stop it. I told you. No. Colossians 4 verse 2. Open your Bible. And you're making noise for me. Can you stop the noise? <laughs> what does it say? I'm not there yet. They want to open here. Let me open here. Six. Colossians. No, it's bowing. For four. Colossians chapter four. Verse no, two. it's bowing to the end. No, it's Colossians. Listen, this is the new one we are doing today. Mommy, give that to me. Yeah. I'll, I'll can you read? Can you read the verse two? This is one. <laughs> Says this one. Hold on, Jason. Let me turn your Go so on. Verse two. First two. No, yeah. This he died. One. He says, Prince gave the word 
Nathaniel, Nathaniel, we are not guessing. Read. Ask it. Mm -mm. Read. Praying. Continue. Continue. Mm. Can you see? In prayer. Yeah. And watch the same way. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. God bless you. That's enough. Jason, read. As you watch yourself to pray you with an alert with an alert to mind and the that's giving heart. Amen. Can you say that again? Devote yourself in prayer with an alert mind and a thanksgiving heart. Is it what I said? Yeah. Read it again. Because we want to we want we want to memorize it though. Devote yourself to pray you with an alert mind. And the thanksgiving heart. I mean, can you read one more time and then try with us here? Uh, Devote yourself to pray with an alert mind and a thanksgiving heart. I want to read more. I, I, Devote I, I, yourself to pray um, with an with alert mind and the thanksgiving heart. Try one more time. Devote yourself to prayer with an alert mind and a thanksgiving heart. Colossian. Colossian. For this too. Awesome. God bless you. You're going to try the memory verse at the end. See if you remember. If you remember it, okay? So we said... Um, Remember when verse said to what devote yourself to prayer with an alert mind. What is an alert mind? An alert mind is when you know when something's coming. Yeah. So it's like um, it's like it's like an alarm on the phone to make you walk. Do you know? Do, do, you, do you know how soldiers go to war? Uh, when when they do the camouflage and they and they, they creep in the bush just, just ready for the enemy. Yeah. You think they're listening to everything? Can you can, can you open puppets for me? No, don't it's okay then. You see how how they they, they listen to everything that's surrounding them. Yeah. Even the buzzing bee flying by, they know because they are uh, on the nerve, right? Yeah, very sensitive. They are on the nerve and ready, they're very watchful, right? Yeah. And a light mind means you 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 watch around, you're careful what's going on around you, right? And no matter what goes on, you are in prayer, devoting yourself in prayer. So giving ever giving your your everything into prayer. Okay? Okay. And with thanksgiving. Okay. With a thanksgiving heart. So a thanksgiving heart is a heart of gratitude when you come to God before before even starting asking and everything. We have to be grateful. Grateful for him being our God. Grateful for his love. Grateful for him giving us his son. Right? We always have a reason to thank God. We have to be more thankful than asking. Right? Yeah. The amazing thing with God is the more we thank him, the less we actually need to ask because the more he will provide, right? We don't really need to ask much but to appreciate what he does for us. And well, and when, when we have that, that, that thanksgiving heart, when we have that, that heart of praising him, that heart of appreciating every, everything he does, then the more he gives unto us. Because he knows we are going to be, we're going to appreciate whatever he does, right? Yeah. But if we are ungrateful, you think we are going to receive? No. So we have to have that 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 um, a heart of gratitude, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always thanking mm -hmm. God in all time, mm -hmm. and always praying. Mm -hmm. How how often shall we pray? Mm -hmm. All time. Yeah, so last week, Bible verse, what did he say? Never stop 
praying. So whether you happy, whether you sad, whether you grumpy, mad. yeah, whether you're, you're grumpy, whether you're mad, whether you um confused, whether you scared, Shop. whether you're confident, it doesn't matter. Just pray. Whether you're hungry or you're full. You pray to God for food when you're hungry and you thank God for giving you food when you have. So it doesn't matter the situation. You always have a reason to pray, right? And um, no, no, it's okay. Yes, Nathania, please stop. We are, we are almost done, all right? We are almost done. Jesus promised us in the Bible that everything, it's all right, God bless you. Everything we pray to God, oh Lord, pray to God in His name. He's going to give it to us, right? Yeah. So when we when we go to God and pray, I will pray. How do we finish the prayer? We pray in Jesus. in Jesus' name. We know that because because it's a promise from God, we're going to receive what we all pray for, right? Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, "Do not worry for anything, but present your request to God." with thanksgiving see the bible keep repeating with thanksgiving so it's really important that that we we, we come to god with praise right yeah that that's when, exactly when, why we do a thanksgiving sunday at church yeah if we do a thanksgiving sunday at church to appreciate god right but it's it's not just on the thanksgiving sunday that we appreciate god it's every day not just once in a month right Every day, right? Yeah, because the offering. Huh? Yeah. What the offering? Mm. Yeah, you're still referring to church. Church is is on the Sunday. It's once in a week. Oh, Thanksgiving is once in a month. But the Bible says we need to have a, thanks, a, a, a Thanksgiving heart. It doesn't say to have a Thanksgiving service. It says to have a Thanksgiving heart. A Thanksgiving heart give thanks to God every single day, not just on Thanksgiving Sunday or not just on Sunday service. Every single day. The same way it says pray without ceasing. We pray without stopping. Always with a heart of gratitude, right? Always thanking God. Always thanking God. Okay? I want to share with us the story of Queen Esther. I guess you know you know mm -hmm. about Esther, right? Yeah, I'm just writing down the story now. Are you writing the story of Esther? Why are you writing about Esther when we are talking about prayer? How did you know we're going to talk about Esther? I didn't tell you that. <laughs> Mommy, before I started Mommy, this, so you were checking my notes. Okay, I some... see now how you find I'm that. All right, um, Esther was a queen. She became the queen of Persia. Persia is like Babylon in, in the olden days. Right? Yeah. And um, she became queen, but the king didn't know she was a Jew. And the, Jew, the Jewish people uh, uh, worship God. The only true God, right? Uh, she 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 kept her faith in God even when she was in the palace. So she kept praying to God. The the um the king had a, like a prime minister. It was a chief minister. His name was Haman. Haman. He was very very mean, very very proud, and he didn't like the Jew very much because of one person in particular. What was his name? Is is this Mordecai is the queen uncle. So Esther is Mordecai's niece, right? Yeah. Because Mordecai was not ready to bow down before Haman, it made Haman very upset and very mm -hmm. angry. And he was so angry that he wanted to, to exterminate or to kill all the jury the jews people all together right yeah he plot um 
he plot to, to make the king write down Sexy. a decree. Yeah? Sorry. The king's name is Xerxes. Xerxes, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, he planned to make the king. Mommy, uh, yeah. Brief is now. Almost to write a decree to uh, to make to kill all the Jews because he told the king that the Jewish people were rebelling against him. They were not following the law, right? Yeah. And they were bad citizens. So he, he said, Let, let's kill them. So we we'll, we'll eliminate them. The people who don't want to follow the rule from, from the country. And the king, the king accepted without knowing. When Mordecai came to tell his niece, the queen, he told her, do not think because you are in the palace, you are not one of us. We are all Jew, and this threat is against all of us. So you, you have you have to do something about it. And Esther said, Okay, I am going to pray. Because back then you were not allowed, even as a queen, to go and see the king without being invited. If you present yourself in the palace without an invitation, you are put to death. That's, that was the law, yeah. So she was taking a big, big risk to go and see the king. She said she's going to pray for three days and then she will go and see the king, knowing that she will not have the invitation. Sit down, sit down. And she asked Mordecai and all the Jew to pray with her as well so that she will have strength when she's going to see the king. And they all did. They prayed for three days and three now without drinking. They were fasting too. And Queen Esther went to meet the king. And she, she asked the king to come and, and, and dine with her. And when the king came, she asked him to come again the next day. And then she explained to the king what was happening with Aman and all his plot. And the king was very upset because then the queen told the king that she was Jew. She was a Jewish, she was a Jewish too. And that a man was planning to kill her as well as killing um, oh, okay. all her people. Yeah. And what the king said, because he couldn't change the decree, he asked that on that day that Amanda decided to kill all the Jews. <sighs> That the Jew have to defend themselves. So he made a new decree asking them to fight to defend themselves. And Haman, the wicked one, and all his family, they got killed. The same way they wanted Mordecai and all the Jews to be killed. He, it was them that were killed instead because they didn't because they were planning evil, right? Mm. So and at the end. The, the the Jew fought for them for for the everybody that was coming against and so they they fought with the enemy and they had victory wherever they were and and there were peace again in the land right yeah and because of what happened Mordecai became now the prime minister instead of Haman and he made a decree for the Jew that that same period every year it has to be celebrated because that's the that's that's the festival where God delivered them from death. It's called a funny name. It's called Purim. Can we say Purim? Mm -hmm. Purim. <laughs> Purim. It's, I will show it. I will show it to you in the book of mm -hmm. Esther. Esther. Mm -hmm. It's called Purim. The meaning oh, of Purim is, um, is the festival of lots because Haman to choose the day where he's going to kill the, the people, he cast lots. It's like, um, you know, when you throw the dice, whichever number comes, so you, he picked that, okay? So it was like a, a, a gamble, gamble choice. Um, so even today, the Jewish people, they keep celebrating this Purim, the day when God has delivered them from death, right? They still remember that, that day even, even today. But in the story, 
when Esther and all the Jewish people were in trouble, what did they do? They prayed. They prayed all together. They were praying, right? Yeah. For God to, to do something. When, is, when there is a decree from the king, nobody can change it, right? But still they had faith that God is going to make something happen. And did God intervene? Yeah. Were they killed? No. So imagine that if God can make the king change a decree and see and and even if a man was plan was everything that he was planning in secret against Mordecai and against the Jew, God has revealed it. God has sent people to tell the king when when even he was planning a gallow to 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 hang Mordecai on it. They went and told the king and it made the king very upset. So and instead of Mordecai going on the gallow, it was a man himself. himself. So yeah. So you see, Mordecai didn't even have to go and tell the king anything. There were people. So when you are in trouble, it's not about complaining. It's not about crying. It's not about trying to, to speak too much or defend yourself. What is it that has a child of God you can do that will make the situation better? Pray to God. It's pray to God. Yeah, go on. I don't things around. See? Right, Natanya? So it doesn't matter. Um, if it doesn't matter how bad the situation is. I know. All you have to do is have faith in God and pray that God will make it better. Okay? Okay. Esther had faith. Mordecai had faith. Even with the decree, they kept praying. It didn't matter that the decree was all oh. they kept praying. And God delivered them. So we are serving a God that is bigger than any king. We are serving a God that is more powerful than any than any forces. So everything that they plan in the secret against us, God. Even if you're in school, and you have your friend planning evil things. They have your friend being mean again, mean source. You don't have to defend yourself. What can you do about the situation? Pray to God to defend to you. Yeah, and God is going to do it. If you pray with faith, he's going to do it, right? Esther prayed with all the Jewish people and God did something amazing for them. So whether, whether you are in school and you're being bullied, don't go and fight because your God can defend you, right? He will make something happen that is going to be in your favor, right? If you pray. Uh, whether you're uh, 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 maybe your mommy or your uh, somebody close to you is sick or is in trouble, instead of panicking, what can you do? Pray. Pray for God to make the person better, right? We have stories of the in the Bible where people were sick and Jesus made them better. Yeah. I want an example. Come on. We even have stories in the Bible where people were dead and Jesus brought them back to life. So an example of sick, an example of death. Do you remember the sick man that they brought down through the roof? No. No, you don't remember even the leper. That Jesus healed. He did a lot of healing. Uh, what's the name of the person Jesus rose from the dead? Lazarus? Yeah, Lazarus. <sighs> right. I was getting the mix up with Zechariah and Lazarus. No, Lazarus. Zechariah is, is John the Baptist. Why are we talking about Zechariah? Yeah, that, like, from the, the Jesus, Jesus, when you speak that one. Huh? Uh, oh, that, um, how is it called? Uh, Zaka, Zizak, Zizak. I know the name of friends, Zashi, <laughs> and Zacharias, Zacharias, something like that, Jason. Uh, it's got to be somewhere. Yeah. 
Okay, that, that's not the one. It's not. It's not. It's not Zachariah. the one. It's not Zechariah. His name. His name is Zakai Zakari. So, uh, we'll check it later, Jason. Um, you're right. So, do you remember the memory verse we just learned <laughs> from Colossians four verse two? Mm-hmm. What does it say? Colossians four verse two says. Devote yourself with prayer, with a thanksgiving, with a... With an alert mind. With an alert mind and a thanksgiving card. God bless you. That's really good. So we're going to pray. That God give us a grace to... Yeah. Um, that God, we're going to... Pray, yeah, you're gonna do it. Do you, do you remember? Okay, the challenge was to learn our Father in heaven, right? Yeah. You want to to do it? Yeah. You know it. All right, go on. Our Father in heaven, how will it be? Thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On the first it is in heaven, give us our day, our daily bread, and forgive us sins, as we forgive the ones who trespass against us. Deliver from me for Amen. Amen. So I owe you a present now. Uh, now, you have to say it first. Can you say our Father who art in heaven? Our Father in heaven, in our name, in kingdom come, as our name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh my God. Shortcuts. <laughs> now, I owe you a present to? <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> it's small one, maybe small one. I think one. so. I think mommy, you want to shrink uh, that mommy, present the way you shrunk the, pr- the prayer. <laughs> we say, we in what in heaven, thy be thy name, mm-hmm. thy God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you um, for showing us, oh Lord, how powerfully you can show yourself in every situation we are in when we pray. Thank you for teaching us, oh Lord, that there is nothing we cannot change when we go on our knees, oh Lord, to pray to you because you are our God, you love us and you listen. You hear our cry, you hear our supplication, and you promise us in your word that for everything, we shouldn't worry, but come to you and present our request unto you, and you will faithfully answer us in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we are grateful. We thank you for you being our God. We thank you for you being our Father. We thank you for your love. I will thank you for giving us the name of Christ. We thank you, Lord, for that power and authority that you give us, Lord, to have in prayer. Thank you because through prayer, Lord, you strengthen us. Thank you because through prayer, Lord, you have communion and fellowship with us. You are close to us. You talk to us. You reveal to us, Lord, the things that we need to know to walk with you. Father, give us in every situation to always come to you, to remember you are here. And all we have to do is to talk to you without fear because, oh Lord, you're always listening. You're always there for us. So we thank you, Lord. Um, we, we cover ourselves with your precious blood. We seal your word in our heart, not by the blood of Jesus. And we commit this week into your hand. For the children resuming school, Lord, we pray that, oh Lord, you go ahead of them. But I will pray for protection over every single children of his majesty sanctuary, even the parent, oh Lord, that you will continue to watch over our life despite everything that is going out, oh Lord, health-wise. Lord, you will be our protection, you will be our shield, and you will, will we go out and come back safely, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, and you continue to abide under your protection. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Bye. Amen. Bye.